Happy 2032. I am a clone replicant of the late Dustin Klein, and today is the first ride of the year. You ready for a good time? Let's do it. Steven, what is all this? This is um, Polar Plunge 2023, and uh, we're gonna jump into an ice cold pool, really and it's cool. really fucking cold right now. <laughs> no, thank you. Hey, do you guys do New Year's resolutions? To never do the polar plunge again. Hey, Brent. Hey, tell me about your bike. Sourdough starter, handmade steel. I don't know what best bike there is. What size tires are you running? 35, best size there is. What size shifters are you running? 72. Best size there is. I see you're not running Spokey Dokes. Is there a reason for this? That's only for nighttime. Hi, right, put new tires on. New year, new tires. I tried to put some 38s on this, but to no avail. It didn't work. But these Pirelli Velos are 35s and they fit just barely right. And set up with two Bolito tubes, I really get a kick out of the orange Tubalito stem. This is a 2006 Specialized Diverge. It's official, 35s is the biggest tire I can get on this bike with fenders. And the fenders are Specialized fenders. They're a pain in the ass and they have been Gorilla glued to this frame. Permanent fender bike. I don't make the rules, I just play the game. So the thing about riding all season, especially for us in the Pacific Northwest, is that we can't ride a lot of stuff. All the epic, beautiful stuff is up high and it's covered with snow. Trails are all muddy also, so it's winter. We always say it's kind of for road riding. Functional, utilitarian, necessary. It's not glamorous, it's nothing special, but it's still something. <laughs> that thing flips up, well played. Little bean and rice burrito from Taco Bell. T-Bell, baby. Did you get it this morning? Mmm, many mornings ago. Mm. And then there was this. Okay, we're, we, we've officially gotten lost. Oh no, we're in the Bermuda Oswego Triangle. <laughs> Tell my mother I love her and my wife not to wait up. Oh, thank God. It's Suko! Suko, we've been out here for hours. This ride is pretty much just in, in different neighborhoods. Oh, this is gonna be slick. I keep slipping out just a little bit here. And these tires are... Oh shit. Tires aren't working, they're too slick. I need something with a little bit of tooth. 700 by 35, what do you got? Any suggestions? Woo! Oh, good God. Dream blunt rotation, flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers, Clippy from Microsoft Word, and uh, Danny DeVito. Oh. Yikes. Man, mountain biking sure is confusing. There's a special code for the trails, you look ridiculous, plus the terrain is terrifying. Duh. And the locals get pissed about all kinds of stuff. Sure, I've got the rule book, but seriously, there's a lot of words in there and like zero pictures. Live and learn. I think I'm gonna need a road bike so I can still get after it during the winter months. You wanna buy my 82 Univega? No, thank you. I'm gonna go back to the pros closet. Thousands of bikes, certified pre-owned, delivered straight to my door. How could I go wrong? Hmm. Man, I kinda just wish TPC was a real person. I feel like they'd be emotionally supportive just the right amount of PMA, but not too much, and they'd be able to help you with your bike if anything ever gets out of whack. What? You know anyone like that? Out of whack. I hit the rotor on the pole. 
Frontal Observing this beautiful engineered manufactured bridge. You're like, whoa, nice bridge. Go. <laughs> we'll just see if we can bend this back. It's a good place for it to bend, honestly. Hey, what would you guys do to fix this? Oh, I mean, it's not perfect, but I think it'll get us home. Not bad, not bad. I've just noticed there's a little bit of play in the headset. Yeah, you feel that? Yeah. It's just, oh. We all have T25 and T15. This here Richie Superlogic is a T20, which is a very odd size, a size that's not commonly in people's multi-tools. Mm -mm. Pardon the noise, my bike had an accident and I was on it. It's so loose. There's a hop in the wheel. The brakes are rubbing. My bike is sick right now. I think it's gonna make it home, but anything is possible. And then we get to fix it. I'm not using my front brake anymore. This is all back brake. My front brake decided not to cooperate any longer. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah, happy New Year. <laughs> Sometimes you eat the bar, and sometimes the bar eats your bike. You know, the funniest part is right here, right on this desk, this is the T20 that I was looking for, that I'm going to use to fix that thing. I thought I'd be all clever and use the tool thing that's on the bike and not have to bring one. Lesson learned. Broken bike, the vibes were right. And the ride by the numbers. Four hours, 50 minutes rolling time, 60.3 miles. What is American? And 3,743 feet of elevation. That's like under golden ratio. That's like copper ratio. I'm okay with the copper ratio. Who's the baby man? Hi, bud. Okay, now that everyone's gone, let me tell you about the shed or the workshop. It's new, we just set it up and I'm gonna do a full breakdown video on it. I just had to knock this ride out first. So hang tight, stay bright, and remember, never leave home without, is that, is, what else are we doing here? There's one more thing I gotta tell you. Check out this video because it's the greatest video I think maybe we've ever made. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, well. No. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.